In today's video, I'm going to share with you the only watercolor techniques you need to know. These techniques are great for beginners or anyone who wants to improve their watercolor skills. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Vyat Studio. The techniques we are going to learn are great for beginners or anyone who wants to improve their watercolor skills. So the first technique is called wet on wet watercolor technique. This is when you wet your paper with clean water and then apply the watercolor paint on top of it. The paint will spread and blend beautifully on the wet paper, creating a soft and organic look. Before moving forward, please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. And I have also listed all the watercolor supplies I use in the description below. You can use this technique to create beautiful backgrounds skies and landscapes or even water so the second technique is called dry brush technique this is when you use a dry brush with very little water and a lot of pigment this technique is great for adding textures and details to your painting if you are new to watercolors these techniques will help you learn faster with great results here I am using this dry brush technique in my watercolor abstract painting to add that interesting element. I use this technique to create textures and it's a great technique to create foliage, trees or even hair. So the third technique is called glazing. This is when you apply a transparent layer of watercolor paint on top of a dried layer. This technique is great for creating depth and richness in your painting. You can use this technique to create shadows, highlights or even skin tones. I use this technique a lot when I want to give some shadows to my leaves and while I do pet portrait paintings. Using this technique, I am able to add some richness to my painting by adding some layers of another color on top of previously dried layers. Moving on to the fourth technique which is called lifting. This is when you remove some of the watercolor paint from your paper using a brush or a paper towel. This technique is great for correcting mistakes or creating highlights. I do a lot of mistakes most of the time and I use this technique a lot when I'm painting leaves, flowers or pretty much anything. This helps me correct my mistakes at times because with watercolors you will do a lot of mistakes even if you are a professional artist or you are a beginner. If you want to learn more about these techniques, then check out my Wildflowers watercolor painting video where I have painted the flowers using these techniques and many more other. Okay, so the fifth technique is called salt texture. This is when you sprinkle some salt on top of wet watercolor paint. As the paint dries, the salt will absorb some of the pigment and create a beautiful texture. You can use this technique to create stars, galaxies or even a sandy beach. Here I have sprinkled some salt and when I am removing it, you can see how beautiful the texture is coming out. When the salt dries, you can just remove the salt and that will give you a beautiful texture. Okay, so the sixth technique is called splattering. This is when you load your brush with a lot of water and paint. And now you hold it over your paper and tap the brush to create splatters of color. This technique is great for creating a sense of movement or adding some visual interest to your painting. You can use this technique to create stars, rain or even a confetti type effects. I personally use this technique a lot and they create a beautiful effect when used in my abstract paintings 
Like here, I have used this splatter effect of brown color. This adds a lot of interest in the painting and it makes really unique. Okay, so the seventh technique is called negative painting. This is when you paint around the subject or shape that you want to create. Instead of painting the subject itself, the technique is great for creating a sense of depth and complexity in your painting. You can use this technique to create intricate patterns, leaves, or even a forest of trees. And there you have it, the only watercolor techniques you need to know to get started with watercolors. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. Let me know in the comments which technique is your favorite or if you have any other techniques to share. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.